Hello and welcome back to part 2 of our Samsung Galaxy S3 unboxing video. I'm just going to see if we can try and disassemble this phone. Let's have a look and see what's underneath the hood. Just taking off the back cover, battery. Right, so on this device you've got um, small Phillips screws. Um, there's about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, about 9 screws. So I'm just going to unscrew that. Actually, there's 10, sorry. Okay, so just lifting it, the back cover off. Relatively straightforward, actually. You didn't need any opening tools or anything. Right, so just pointing out one more screwdriver, which holds the main board in place. Now there's a series of flex cables. We've got one which is connected for the SIM gate. This big brown one here, that's for the LCD slash digitizer assembly. That's the, I believe that might be the GPS uh, aerial wire type thing. Possibly might be Wi-Fi, I'm not too sure, I have to check the schematics. It's got some more flex cables at the top, one controlling the main battery another one controlling the front camera sorry not battery um, mains camera at the back just using the opening tool just to pry up on the left hand corner just pops off just a little gently so you can just wedge it in there and lift it off main board pops out nice and straightforward As you can see, the assembly is very similar to the Galaxy S2, which means uh, the repairability might be quite difficult because it looks that the LCD and digitizer and middle chassis is all kind of molded into one complete unit. Um, repairers of the Galaxy S2 will notice some similarities between the two handsets. Um, probably means that it's going to be quite an expensive repair unless we can get the individual parts separately. Um, just look pointing to the main boards, we've got the Exynos chip in the middle. The quad core 1.4 gigahertz processor. Got the mains camera, 8 megapixel. The LED flash. The SIM gate and micro SD card slots. USB charger unit, microphone, got the battery compartment in the middle. As you can see how the middle chassis is kind of covering most of the flex cables for the digitizer. So it's going to be quite tricky I would say to get into that. Just pointing out this flex cable, that's for the volume control and another one's connected for the earpiece the LCD cable again and the digitizer plug-in connector we've got the either the GPS or Wi-Fi wire running down the side as you can see the phone is relatively thin, the screw
screen must be only a couple of millimetres in, in thickness. <laughs> 